Hello everyone from the team of Vergi Bilenler. Today we are going to discuss the details of the new value added tax system known as VAT for non-resident electronic service providers that want to conduct business in Turkey. So let's get started. As you know, Turkey follows the terms of taxation of the digital economy based on the global trends. Therefore, the new VAT legislation is enforcing the foreign taxpayers with new obligations. And we will be focusing on this subject in this presentation. The main objective of the new legislation is to enforce the tax compliance of the Turkish government on the foreign taxpayers, such as their VAT obligations to prevent Turkey's VAT losses due to the online service transactions occurred in electronic platforms such as cloud-based services or any online service that requires a business transaction between consumer and non-resident electronic service provider. As per the new law, Turkey defines non-resident electronic service providers as business headquarters, workplaces or business centers that don't have a physical location in Turkey. If these businesses are willing to provide online services to consumers in Turkey, then they must register their businesses the way we will be explaining in the further sections of the presentation to be able to collect and remit VAT which started on January 1, 2018. The details of the new tax rules implemented by the Turkish Tax Administration through the VAT Communic number 17 has been published on the official gazette on January 31, 2018, brought extra clarification on the details of the new law. The new legislation describes the definition of the consumer as the identities consuming the services provided by non-resident businesses that are currently not a VAT taxpayer which provide online-based products or contents. The existing VAT withholding mechanism is still applicable and enforced by the Turkish government for the business-to-business -business transactions known as B2B which covers the inbound sale of both electronic services or physical goods. Accordingly, in such transactions, Turkish business consumers are still required to withhold, declare and remit the VAT to the Turkish tax authority on behalf of the foreign taxpayers. So it's very crucial to understand that the new regulation only applies to business-to-consumer transactions and not to business-to-business -business transactions. Services such as online or internet-based are subject to VAT regulation. The rate of the VAT is determined based on the type of the service. The standard tax rate in Turkey is 18%. With the exception of electronic publications such as e-newspapers or e-magazines which is 8% and 1% on some special items. Examples of the electronic services could be listed as follows. Online music platforms such as Apple Music or Spotify. Movie streaming channels such as Netflix and Hulu. Online based game applications and in-app purchases via computer, mobile phone or similar devices such as Clan of Clash. Online education platforms that provide courses to purchase which takes place in a virtual classroom that is based on a network streaming principle where the instructor and the student cannot interact with each other live. These services could be listed as Udemy and Linda. Companies that deal in web hosting, domain names, selling software and any other services to the electronic businesses such as Wix.com and GoDaddy.com. Businesses offering online data storage spaces such as Dropbox and Evernote. The licensed sale of softwares for all digitized products such as antivirus programs, graphic editors like Antivirus and Photoshop. Supply of images, texts and logos and similar services such as Shutterstock.com and any other services supplied via internet or online based networks that are of the a similar nature of the aforementioned services. Under the new VAT legislation, foreign e-service providers, 
falling within the scope of VAT law are obligated to declare the VAT through VAT declaration number 3. Before submitting VAT declaration number 3 for the first time, these electronic service providers should fill out the form available on the Revenue Administration's website. To enroll into the system, please go to https colon forward slash forward slash digitalservice.gib.go.tr Once you are in the front page of the Turkish Revenue Administration website, you can conduct a simple test to determine if your business needs to enroll to the Turkish VAT system or not. If the test requires your business to be enrolled to the Turkish VAT system, then simply click on apply and fill out the form. Once you fill out the form, an application OID number will be assigned to you. The status of your application will become traceable from the application result tab by simply entering your VAT registration number and your application OID. Once the form has been approved by the Turkish Revenue Administration, a special VAT registration for electronic service providers certificate will be available on behalf of the non-resident service provider by the large taxpayer's tax office in Istanbul. Stated by the official communic, the filing period of the VAT declaration should not be later than 24th of the next month. There is no requirement to submit a tax return for the periods that there has been no services supplied electronically. The VAT amount should be paid in Turkish Lira by the end of the 26th of every declaration period. The payment should be made depending on the daily buying exchange rate determined by the Central Bank of Republic of Turkey. Those who are in the scope of the regulation are not required to bookkeep. However, they are required to keep the paperwork of the input VAT. Thanks for watching our video and please follow us from Facebook, Twitter or YouTube for more information and latest updates on Turkish taxation system.